Hi one, are you suffering with shoulder pain in the front of the shoulder every time you go to lift, swing a golf club or just do small daily tasks around the house? This video is going to be for you. The first thing we need to do is look at the source of the pain. Why is that shoulder inflamed in the first place? This is one of your rotator cuff tendons in the front of your shoulder and it's generally the cause for those symptoms. Now we got to figure out what the source is. Generally speaking, it's the muscle belly of the rotator cuff which are located here in the back on your shoulder blade and running across the top of it. Here are some exercises that will help you strengthen that muscle. When you're doing your rehab program, it's very important to understand why you're doing an exercise. So the rotator cuff's main job in the shoulder is stability. So for that reason, we gotta isolate it and strengthen it, but also test the stability of the shoulder. If you're quite inflamed at the moment, you're not gonna go ahead and test the stability too much, but you are gonna do an exercise like this. Using a cable machine or lying on your side, uh, with a dumbbell, you're gonna tuck your elbow into your side and pull this weight out. Okay, it's very important that I'm not compensating here and lifting the elbow out. That's going to activate my delt muscle, which is one of the primary muscles in the shoulder. We want to keep that quiet, we want to keep the upper trap quiet, and we just want to work through rotation. Okay, that way if we isolate this, like doing a bicep curl, if you do a strict bicep curl, you'll isolate the bicep, or if you just swing your elbows here, you're going to activate the delts again, and the bicep won't get as much as a reaction. Moving on to the next exercise, the stability exercise. Now remember, if you are quite inflamed at the moment, this one is not going to be for you. Okay, so we're down on the floor for stability exercise and it's just going to be a shoulder tap. Now believe it or not, if it's your left shoulder that's sore, it's the opposite shoulder that does the movement. Okay, my left shoulder here is stabilizing the movement while my right hand is moving up towards my left shoulder. Ensure that we're not rocking from side to side here either. Stabilize your core, shoulder muscles are working hard, rotator cuff is stabilizing the shoulder joint. Once we get efficient at that movement, we move it along and into a renegade row. So again, from the same position, we're gonna do a rowing motion, again, keeping our hips nice and stable, and we're alternating sides with this one. So up and down, but remember, if it's my left shoulder that's injured, and I'm pulling with my right hand, it's the left rotator cuff doing the work. And lastly, just to get that rotator cuff back to full health, we need to do nice, slow, and controlled rowing motions. Strengthening up all of our back muscles, and just getting that shoulder joint as healthy as possible. We can do some half kneeling rows, some bent over rows, just ensuring it doesn't matter what you do, but just ensure that we're getting good activation in the shoulder. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. Thanks very much for tuning into today's video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave this video a like. If you're interested in doing some coaching with Fit4Fitness this year, top link in the description below to get yourself signed up for the winter.